Hi, this is Dr. Patrick Cohn with Peak Performance Sports and the Mental Game Coaching Professional Certification Program. Today I have a short video on the four phases of educating athletes on the mental game to make long-lasting behavioral changes to help them perform better in competition. Now, this is my model of the four steps that I take athletes through all the way from awareness of the areas they need to change to educating them on the mental skills, getting them to practice the mental skills, and then finally taking practice and applying it to competition. Let's look at each one of these areas individually, starting with awareness. This is always the place that I like to start with my students. In the MGCP certification program, we have what's called an AMAP assessment. We do an assessment, and then we follow that up with an interview phase in which we're looking at some of the limiting beliefs, the expectations, some of the negative self-labels that athletes hold on to that can limit their performance. Now, if you're of the belief that it's all about visualization and goal setting, well, for me, that's far from the truth. It's more about understanding the athlete's needs and what's blocking them from performing consistently better in competition. Secondly, when we go to education, we, in this phase, are looking at how can the athlete learn some mental skills that will allow them to improve his or her performance. Here we develop a mental game plan. We work on changing behavior with specific mental game strategies and helping them set smart goals that will help affect that particular change. So these two phases, very simple, awareness and education. I think all athletes get it, and it's really the easy part for me as a mental game coach. In the third step, we want to take the educational part of what they're learning, such as how to refocus when they're distracted, and be able to apply that to their practice. Now they're actually putting it into practice in a meaningful way, where you're giving them some mental goals to work on, where they're using their routines to integrate some of the mental strategies, and also involving a coach or a parent if they're very involved in the athlete's um, uh, life or very involved in the athlete's coaching or mental game. For example, I like to involve parents when I feel like parents are an integral part of the team to help the athlete perform his or her best. Now, from my perspective, the most important part is the ability to move athletes from the educational step and the practice step into the application. And that's why I've drawn these relationships between education and application and practice and application. Because here's where most athletes get tripped up, is their inability to apply what you teach them in the sessions. So here's where you want to apply it to competition using pregame strategies, um, using routines, um, getting them to commit to some very specific skills that you want them to apply in competition. And like I said, the awareness and the education are the easy part for athletes. And as a mental coach, that's the easy part. But it's the ability to take the education and apply it to practice and eventually apply it to competition here in the end stage of the application. So you have to come full circle all the way around from awareness and education to the application for your athletes to be successful using the mental strategies. And here's one of the programs we're putting the finishing touches on. It's called the Athletes Mental Edge Workbook System. There's 15 workbooks in this specific system that helps athletes apply what they learn in your mental coaching sessions to both practice and competition. And there's several other benefits uh, that athletes get from using the workbook system, which I'll share with you uh, in an upcoming video or email. Thanks for watching. This is Dr. Patrick Cohn with Peak Performance Sports. 
and the Mental Game Coaching Professional Program.